So a warm welcome to you all. We will be on the way very shortly once all the pleasantries are complete. And our live game is Sporting Lisbon against Juventus. This is Peter Drury and next to me providing insights will be Jim Beglin. Cheers Peter, it's a privilege to be here, it really is. So the players and officials stand tall for the anthem. Look at the lineups. away we go then looking to force his way through takes it out to the wing can he find a finish now and Spall who's going to get that goal sporting and the game springs instantly to life Buffon did well the first time nothing he could do about the follow up well, it still had to be finished off, so well done to the goal scorer, but the keeper should have done a lot better. Sporting Lisbon have an early lead. Good start. Pjanic. Now it's Pjanic. Fabio Poimchao pumps it upfield. Quadrado. Alexandro. Some good play on the left hand side now to profit from it. Up for the header! He will be livid with himself. I think when you're in front of the goal like that, you really should do better. That's a poor finish in the end. down the left-hand side Matuidi pass needed to be better than that and he knows it Adrian Silva Pjanic with the ball through it's Iguain a oh, great save real class Oh, he made that look really easy, Peter, but I can assure you that wasn't a, a routine save. He had to be very switched on there. He's gone for it! It's come loose. And the chances keep on coming. They're awarded another corner. <laughs> well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. Speculative strike. Chiellini does well there, alert. Pjanic, and it's Quadrado. Looks like a good ball through. In by Matuidi. No mistake! Juventus are level. Oh, the cross was inch perfect and the header unerring. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had. Oh, 
Juventus at the equaliser and we're all square. Well, if anyone in this stadium thinks they haven't got value for money, I give up. It's one! Goal! Juventus! And the game is well and truly turned on its head! Finishing doesn't come simpler than that. Bang in front of goal. Well, he made it obvious as to where the pass should be played, Peter, and it made the finish look that bit easier. <laughs> Juventus get themselves into the lead. Yeah, for me, this team seems to find it easier to attack than defend, but now they're going to need to dig in at the back a bit. Tries a through ball. Higuain looking to get on the end of this. Gonna have to tune his rangefinder before the next one. Pjanic. Nice to get it forward quickly. Had a shot. It's a loose ball. Quadrado! Tries a header! And that's caused a worry or two. Well, if he hopes to do better than that, he's got to work on his technique and his timing. The contact wasn't right there, so... There wasn't much chance of success. Oh, that's great stuff from him. Well, in all honesty, he's tormented that defence. They just can't handle them. And the half-time whistle goes. So we reach the halfway point. Well, give me a moment to get my breath back. Uh, what a super half of football. Incident pack, goals, comebacks, and the match being turned on its head. Which way it's going to go from here, it's anyone's guess. Juventus head into the half-time break with a narrow lead, two goals to one. Adrian Silva. That will coin Chow. The ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Who's going to make this theirs? Up he gets! Gonzalo Higuain! He is sensational! Two up and threatening to pull clear! A lovely header, but really it was all about the delivery. Well, as contact goes, that was tremendous and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net. I think when it comes to the aerial department, this fella is definitely no slouch. Juventus take a two-goal lead and are looking good for the win. Well, that goal should be a big game-changer. It's certainly been a big mood-changer. Chiellini. Quadrado. Now the pass. Chance! Oh, he's got that all wrong, and it's a penalty. Juventus have been given a penalty. And the referee has shown him a yellow card. Yeah, well, they were exposed and, and vulnerable, and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal then. To increase the lead. And he's kept it out. He has spurned it. Well, what can I say about that other than the sooner they forget about it, the better. It's, it's history. now can they make something of it and it's Kadira looks to slip it through turns and goes back oh he's really drilled it and he's played for a throw Alexandro passes it through Higuain looking to get on the end of this. 
just there to get rid. Matweedy gets it back. Belts one. And that will sail harmlessly past. Probably not his best option. I think goalkeepers are, are normally happy for players to have a, a go from there. Well, they are working very hard to get it wide now, Jim. Yeah, that's, that's true. And is that how you're seeing it? Yeah, I think they've decided to concentrate on, on working the flanks to help the production line. It's, uh, it's where the room is. Quattro. Forwards. Chip through. Now it's Dybala. It's anyone's ball. William Carvalho. Coyne Chow. Now the pass. No, that's not the ball he wanted. William Carvalho tried to play it through. Yeah, and the vision to get him through was all good, but the execution of the pass wasn't quite right. But importantly, he's holding his line until the very last moment, and that will pay off. Looks like a good ball through. And Djukic finds himself offside. Well, they do like to operate with a high line. It's, it's risky if the ball's not pressed and, and the line isn't straight. Sporting Lisbon have chosen to bring on the last of their substitutes. And Djukic with the ball through. Can he score? Oh, he did the hard part right, but fluffed the finish. Yeah, and that was all about the through ball. Great control, and the weight was perfect. It so nearly came off for him. It's tremendous. There is the final whistle. Juventus winners after an absolutely outstanding game. Fabulous drama as they dragged it back from behind, made it happen, and won. Your reflections then, Jim. Well, when you can go away from home and produce a win like that, then we've got to expect more of it. And while I know every game is different...